Indonesian style. Here we are in Bali, crazy traffic. Nasi ayam. Okay, here we are, Chicken Village number 18, somewhere in Bali, God knows where. Another snake call out, snake removal. Go and check it out. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for coming. No problem. No problem. Suksama. Do do do. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Terima kasih. Snake in a bag. It's automatic. Look at that one. It's already bagged up for us. Alright, what we got in here is a raw turkey python. Ah, where did you find it? In the One takeaway python. Okay, let's go. These reticulated pythons are popping up all over the place basically. They come in, they eat people's birds, they eat their chickens, they eat their ducks, any mice and rats as well. Anywhere where there's mice and rats, there's also these snakes. So they're quite happy to come into your house or your yard and eat whatever <laughs> mammals are available to them. Um, primarily nocturnal. No venom, lots of teeth, and they constrict their food, swallow it whole. Anyway, we'll go and release this guy back into the jungle somewhere. Uh, it's only a little one, looks like about six foot. These guys will grow up and over seven meters in length. They get pretty big. There's even rumors of them over eight meters. So one of the largest species of snakes in the world. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so here we are back at base. It's time to give our reticulated python, Rick James, we'll call him, a bit of a uh, medical evaluation. Now, when we do call-outs and the snakes are already bagged up for us, well, we like to uh, have a bit of an inspection, remove some ticks or things like that, see if they're uh, fit and healthy enough to go back into the wild. We just want to check first to see what's going on. Alright, so uh, let's see you. Get him out, come on, fella. He's a beautiful python. Let's hope he's in. This guy has been taped up. So it's one thing to catch a snake and bag it, but they've, they've taped him up here, so we're obviously going to have to move that tape. And you can see on the back of his neck there, he's got a lot of ticks as well. So he's seen better days, but besides that, he looks in uh, looks like he's in pretty good condition. We're quite lucky that he didn't just get hit with the shovel basically so I'm trying to get him 
into a position where I can work with him. Here, it's alright buddy. Try and take that tape off your face. Oh, I'm gonna put a bit of a bit of water on him. Loosen that tape up. This tape isn't over his eyes. Just slowly, slowly. He's probably not going to be too happy when this tape comes off, but at least he's alive and well and he'll be released back into the jungle real soon. There, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Got to take him off me. Now this python, even at this size, has got about four or five kilos of crushing pressure. When he when he grabs a rat, or some type of mammal, his prey item, wrap around and put a lot of pressure on that. Too happy the last person you met, hey? Alright, let's try that. Let him open his mouth. You must want to open your mouth, surely. How's that? Is that better? No, open your mouth. Stretch it out. Alright, what we're going to do now is we'll pop him in. Pop him in a uh, water bag here, a bag that can go in the water. Let him have a soak for a couple of hours. And then uh, that'll loosen off those ticks. In the bag. Alright, tape off. Job done for that one. And uh, let him relax for a while, let him de stress. I'll put him in this black bucket. Give him a little bit of water, soak those ticks off, let him breathe for a while, let him open his mouth, reflex his jaws. After that, we'll get him safely back to the jungle. Okay, so here we are. We've finally made it to the jungle. We've got our reticulated python that we're going to release. This is one that I took the tape off his mouth, uh, one that we received already bagged up. So hopefully he's not too cranky with me for taking the tape off his mouth. Um, but he's got a few ticks on him, so we want to try and get some of those ticks off before we release him. You can see he's a beautiful snake, but uh, yeah, unfortunately he's got those ticks. Now if I touch him just behind the neck here, he might reverse a bit. Grab him. I don't usually like grabbing him by the head, but if you've got to get ticks off him, he's probably not going to be happy about it, so he'll wrap around the neck like usual. And you can see there those parasitic little buggers. Twist those off throw them in the water. So he's got a, a bunch of ticks there. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, now he's peeing on me too. It's all right, buddy. We'll get most of those off. Now, I've got some betadine in my bag. I'm going to put some betadine on this guy as well because he's not, not in great shape. Hey buddy, sorry. Oh, I'm glad that went in the water and not down my back. Or did it go down my back? Now, I've got to make sure that these ticks don't stay with me because they would like to stay with me as well. Record would probably be a shingleback lizard in South Australia had a tick on the back. I oh, actually hanging off his ear about the size of a teaspoon. So, they don't do the snakes any good. There's another little infestation of them here. That's why it's a good idea when you're in the jungle to wear shoes and socks. There we go. Now, we've got our betadine here. A couple more ticks on there. Oh, well, it's right on the side of his mouth, that one. He's not going to be happy about that. We've got all those ticks off now, and this snake's actually pushed its head against my hand almost to the point where I can feel its teeth. 
So what I want to do is release that grip. So a little bit on here. This will give him uh, a bit of a chance to heal properly. Keep those other parasites off him. That spot there and another one somewhere else. Won't be long mate, please don't bite me. see just there okay now we're going to release this guy um, straight into the bamboo there you go buddy off into the bamboo Oh, bagus, bagus, ular, bye bye. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Terimakasi. All right, there we go, guys. Another successful catch and release. Thanks for joining us on Awesome Animals TV. Stay tuned for the next adventure, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>